everybody, Neil Weaver from Modo here. In today's episode of the Energy Academy, we'll be looking at the difference between megawatts and megawatt hours. To begin, it's worth talking about power. Power is the rate at which energy is transferred, and it's measured in watts. A thousand watts make a kilowatt, and a thousand kilowatts make a megawatt, and so on to gigawatt, terawatt, etc. In the energy industry, there are two particular instances in which you're likely to hear about watts. Firstly, when talking about the amount of demand on the system at a single point in time, which in Great Britain is most often quoted in gigawatts, so you might hear someone say, Great Britain's peak demand this year was over 46 gigawatts. The second place you're likely to hear megawatts come up in conversation is when discussing the rated power or capacity of a generation unit. In simple terms, the capacity of a generation unit specifies its maximum instantaneous output. So if you hear someone say, we've just built a 14 megawatt wind farm, the maximum output of the turbines at any one time is 14 megawatts. Megawatt hours, on the other hand, are the units used to measure energy. One megawatt hour just means that one megawatt of power is sustained for one hour. For example, total electricity demand in Great Britain across 2021 was 270 terawatt hours, which refers to the amount of energy used during that time period. Why is this important for batteries? Well, unlike traditional generation, battery energy storage systems, or BESS, can store energy, which means that both megawatts and megawatt hours feature heavily in the language around them. To find out more about how batteries work, check out our Academy video on this subject. Anyway, you might hear someone say, we've just energized a 10 megawatt, 20 megawatt hour battery. Well, let's break this down. 10 megawatts just refers to the rated power of the site. That is the highest rate at which the battery can import or export electrical energy. 20 megawatt hours refers to the amount of energy the battery can store. So in this example, if the battery has no stored energy, it could import at 10 megawatts for two hours to store 20 megawatt hours of energy. In this example, we'd say the battery has a two hour duration, but that's a story for another day. Remember to explore the Modo platform to find out more about how battery energy storage systems operate. See you next time.